human rights attorneys Leo Bradley Jr. and Cynthia Pitts, as well as attorneys for the Crown, Samantha Tooth Tucker and Agassi Finnegan, appeared in the courtroom of Supreme Court Justice Lisa Schumann this morning to argue the matter brought by the commission before the court. But the case could not proceed because there were technical errors on the documents they presented and both sides were summoned in the judges' chambers to discuss the matter. Attorney Pitts explained for us that if they don't get it right this time, the case falls through. Certain documents are not in order. And so the judge has given the attorneys um, for the applicants and the attorney for the applicant, the, the main attorney is Mr. Bladden, the president, and I am only there to, assisting him. And she has given us the opportunity to go and amend or refile, if you would say, and that is to take place and be filed in the registry by Monday morning and served by Monday afternoon. The Cubans arrived in Belize in February and have been here ever since. Pitts explained that things went wrong for them since then. And we have in our act, the, the Refugee Act, that anyone who comes, you don't have to have any papers because if you are running, you will not have time to get papers. You should be able to ask for asylum. Now, it doesn't seem as if they were very upfront with it, but in speaking to them, they would say, I don't want to go back to Cuba. But we have signed a memorandum of understanding with Cuba, which says that anyone who arrives here by, by land or by sea should be sent back. Oh. And so that, that is a contradiction. But yes. note that this case is not founded on really the refugee aspect. It is founded on the fact that they have been de detained, detained for 50 plus days, mm -hmm. that they were fined for illegal entry, and they paid their fine. Okay. And then they were given a removal order. But because there is not an arrangement between Belize and Cuba as to the transportation, you have to stay in prison. One of the Cuban women has twin children who are in custody of the state at the children's home. But in court today, she complained that when she last saw her daughters, one of them told her they were made to clean up after rodents. It was to clean up the, the, the urine of rats, I think. And then, and the, Madame Justice Schumann made it clear that the state attorneys should say to the human development that these children were not there to do any cleaning. They were in the care. And these children are children who one has had open heart surgery. And I think that is the one who unfortunately had an accident while in custody and the dentist had to do surgery in her mouth. The case resumes on Tuesday and if at that time the human rights attorneys have everything in order, dates will be set on when the hearing will begin. If not, the case will be dismissed. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.